Hello everyone and welcome to Fantastic Contraption. I played the original Fantastic Contraption back in high school. It's a two-dimensional game where you take like wheels and sticks and things like that and you make contraptions out of them. Then you take your contraptions and you use them to get a block from point A to point B. Well now they've taken that concept and they've turned it into a three-dimensional virtual reality game. One of the cool things about it is you can actually change what you see on the display monitor. So if you've got some friends watching, you can put a camera over there and you can just watch from a different angle and see what's going on so that everyone gets kind of a different perspective or at least you get a different perspective and the people watching get a different perspective. So you're supposed to grab this stick right now and move it. So that's what we're gonna do. You grab the stick from each side and now you've got a stick. This is so freaking cool, man. So you can stretch it out, make it smaller. Connect me to the other stick. Okay, so you just go like that, and it connects in place, and now you got two sticks connected arf. together. What the f- Arf, arf. Push my nose when you're ready to move on. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I could do that, Mr. Puppy. There. Yeah, I did it. It's a wheel! Move it up a bit. Okay, so we're gonna grab this wheel. Now we've got ourselves a wheel. What does that say? Let go of the trigger on both hands. Okay, press the green button to make things go. Okay, the wheel didn't go very far, let's fix that. Press stop. Okay, all right, I'm liking this so far, guys. I knew I would, but I definitely am. Attach this to the axle snap. Okay, hang on a second, it's showing some stuff down here. Okay, attach a stick to the axle snap, so, so that there has to be attached here. Cool, as long as a stick is attached, it'll all spin. There are some examples behind you. Okay, all right, so you can do it like that, you can do it like this, so if you wanna take it, lay it down here, now, if you press go, it's gonna roll away. All right, arf, arf, let's go, buddy. Now, we have to get it over there. As you can see, there's all kinds of crazy shit happening there. I'm the jelly ball. I want to go back home. Grab me. Can I throw you home? Nope. <laughs> let's build a car instead. Okay, that makes sense. Here's all the parts. Let's build a rudimentary car. They actually give you like a guideline here. Move the parts to match the outline, so, you know. We're just gonna do a general idea here. Grab this, stick it on here, grab the other side, and we will put it down here. Then we have to grab this and attach it here. Got that done, okay. Grab another stick, attach, grab that, put it there, and attach that stick to that one. Attach, th no, this one is already attached, good. And then we have this stick, grab it from both with both hands, cause we can. We're gonna put one down here, and we're gonna put one right here. Press go to test. Nope, because I haven't finished it yet. I need to put this one here and here. So now we've got a contraption. It's kind of fantastic, cool. I'm like off the screen here. Hey, hey, it's me. Huh, okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press go and it is going to go, oh no, something didn't work, but it got to the finish. That's all that matters, look at that. Boom. All right, that is one level complete. Nico is your friend. Okay, who is Nico? Is that the dog? The hell? No, you're you're Nico. You're a cat. Okay, so I got a cat and a dog. Trying to pander to all the audiences here. I get it. Makes a lot of sense. So take parts from Nico's back. Thank you, Nico. I love you. This is you. You're pretty cool, bud. Quickly double tap the trigger to call Nico. Whoa! Over here. Up here. Here we go, Nico. <laughs> Confuse him. Dude, dude, are you farting? Are you farting like pink, pink dust around, dude? You better excuse yourself. That's not very appropriate now, is it? All right, get me home again. So this one just needs to get over here. So I'm assuming if we just do like a three-wheel vehicle, we could do it. Let's do that. Make it nice and uh, nice and simple. One, two, and three. We'll lay those down there. And then we have to attach some of these things. Okay, attached. And we'll attach those together here. All that is attached together now. Get me home again. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a stick like this. Bring it up here in the middle and attach this thing to it. So that can pop on here. And then we'll just put another stick down here. And I mean, I think that should be enough. It should stay in place like that. Can you take this to go? Can you put that back in? No? Okay, go. All right, so the reason it's kind of wobbling around and doing that, I'm not really sure. But the reason it's wobbling around is because it's only on two points here. Come on, you can do it, buddy. You can get there, you can't, you can't do that. All right, cool. We just need to make some adjustments to it. I don't know how you're supposed to do this like, you know, perfect or anything, but if you make some adjustments, everything might be all right. Lift that up nice and high, there you go. And we'll actually attach another stick to it, okay? That'll give it some more stability. Boom. And now, I wanna see you go. Oh, come on. All right, well in that case, 
No big deal. We'll grab that. We'll move it back here like that. Now it's going to move to one side because I totally screwed that up. Can you go to hell? Can you just hoo -hoo, go to hell over there? Thank you. So what I want to do is I want to take it and twist it a little bit. Try and get it a bit more straight. All right. We almost did it. Now can we move that over here a little bit? There we go. All right. And it gets to the goal. That is what I'm talking about. Hey, okay, the dog is over here, so is the cat. Cat, move out of the way. Don't get in the dog's way, okay? Just fart your puffies over there somewhere. Boom. Okay, so here's a mini-map. Welcome to Lean Over Island. Hmm, nice, I like it. So there's a ball here. We gotta get over there. That, that one is super simple. We just gotta attach a little stick to it and it'll be fine. Everything's gonna work out. No problem, don't worry about it. So I can actually take Lean Over Island itself and move it wherever I want. So I'm gonna put it over here. So I can have a look at it whenever I want. Nice, good. And now we gotta get that over there. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can do things in this, which is really cool, guys. You can, um, you can attach things in really unique ways. You can make catapults, things like that. I just realized that there's a lot going on over here. A guy reading a book, there's, a giant, there's giant whales in the sky. I'm pretty sure there's a bunny rabbit somewhere. I saw a bunny rabbit earlier. Let's see what we're allowed to build here. What is this, why do you have these things? Oh, can you stick things to each other like that? That didn't really work. Why do you have pins in your head? That's 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 kind of crazy. Don't do that. Okay, let's take some wheels, okay? This is what we're gonna do. So we got a wheel. I'm assuming the pins can go in the wheels. Oh, no! That's for deleting things. I can't delete that, but I can delete you. No, I can't. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna try and make a vehicle that can stick off to one side. I'm gonna make it with four wheels this time. I don't know how to line things up properly. I don't even know if there's a way to do that. I'm pretty sure um, you know, considering this is a VR game and it's very sensitive to small movements, that's just the way it's going to be. Everything is just kind of be going to be uh, kind of all over the place. That's no big deal. Let's put it together and see what happens. So as you guys can see, if you go over here now, you can see exactly what I've built, which is really cool. So I'm going to try and line these up a little bit better. Okay, that's important. And then we're going to add. Can, can, get over here. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to grab one of these. Put it here. All right, Nothing. To, none of this is actually connected yet. I'm pretty sure this is the water one. If it is, then it can actually go anywhere. It can go right across like that. We can connect them diagonally, um, which is cool because the wooden ones actually bring up in things and they have like um, physical characteristics. I'm pretty sure, at least in the original game, the water ones could go through anything. So that moves, that's good. Now we just have to have something that drops it off on the side. It pretty much, I would say if you put it on kind of an angle like that, it would just turn on its own and drive over there. So you could probably just have something right on the end of that. So if you took that ball now and put it like right here and then attached it with some water, I bet it would be perfect. Just need one more so that it stays in place right here. And now watch this. Okay, goes across, touches the pink thing and we're good. Nice, let's save your contraption. Grab the helmet, okay. Put the helmet on your head. All right, if you say so. There we go. Whoa. Now what in the hell is going on here? This is so neat. I got cables, I got cables everywhere. Okay, so here's the, your contraption. So you can take the contraption now. Um, this one. Oh my God, this is so adorable, guys. You can just take the contraptions and just lay them here. And then this is a little place for your contraptions. It's all in virtual reality because this is a virtual reality game. So much fun. This comes with the Vive as well, which is really cool. It's one of the games that comes bundled with it. Okay, what is this? Um, online contraptions for this level. Let's see if there's anything really cool here. Like, let's try this one. I'm gonna put that over here. Let's go. All right, so now all we gotta do is we just need to take the helmet off, I guess. Yeah, take the helmet off. And all of a sudden, we got this contraption that was built by someone else to uh, get, oh shit, what am I banging into? No, no banging into things. Now we just gotta press play and it's gonna go. And as you can see, that is how one person did it. A little bit trickier than what I did. I just made a wibbly wobbly vehicle that kind of turned on its own and went over there. Okay, see you later. So now we gotta go grab the helmet again. It's a chef's helmet, don't ask why. There we go. And now we're gonna take this and we're gonna toss it. I don't want you, see ya. <laughs> okay, so now what? We just did level two. Let's do tumble down, level three. I guess we put that on the map now. Yep, so we do. Okay, now, oh, this is one where you have to knock that down, don't you? All right, I like that. Let's take out the helmet 
and lay it right here. And now we gotta get this thing down here, I think. All right, so I've connected a bunch of things together here now, so we have a vehicle. Okay, let's just go ahead and play that first and see what happens. There we go, so it's gonna roll across and hit that, drive up it, okay, that works, and then it falls down. So that's it, I don't actually need to put any pokey things on there. Cool, let's keep going, dogger. Now, we have a bit of a gap we need to go over. I don't think this is gonna be that difficult, because I'm pretty sure if we just build a machine that, uh, you know, has a few wheels on it, it should just be able to roll right over the gap. Okay, but I mean, why roll over a gap when you can create something really awesome to throw it that way? I'm not sure if that can work. I know it worked in the original game. I want it to work here too. As you guys can see, I'm actually a little sheep. Okay, I'm just, I'm just a little tiny sheep hanging about. No big deal. <laughs> All right, so what I got here, guys, is I have one, two, three beams on it right now. I'm gonna put some more on there to make it nice and sturdy, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, attach some things on these because you can attach things right here. And when you do that, I'm hoping that um, it'll be able to spin around. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to push anything with it like you can in the original game, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just hoping, okay? Let's see if it works. So now, with everything connected, uh, we should be able to spin that around, as you can see. Okay, good. That is the first step. So now what can you do? Well, I'm hoping you can do something like this. You could attach some things together, okay? Coming out of here like that. And then create some sort of, like, platform kind of thing to throw it off of. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's just try and make, like, a little triangle or something. Okay? Like that. Could the ball, hypothetically, lay in here? I don't know. Okay. Then what we gotta do is we need to connect it in some more places so it actually spins properly. One and two. And I'm not sure if all this will connect together right, so I'm gonna put a water one in here as well. Because the water won't actually go through anything. Uh, that's it, I don't think I need this one. Okay, play. See, that actually kinda works, except the ball goes right through it. Whoa, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah. See, that is what I'm talking about. It's kinda working, we just need to make it longer. Now you see that? That is what I'm talking about. What you could do, guys, is you could actually stop it once it gets so far, okay? It could be connected to something that, um, that kind of brings up. Because right now, it needs to have a different angle in order to actually go. Go! So we can throw across one gap. Cool. If you connected this to some more stuff, it might work a little bit better. I don't really know how all the stuff works here. Like, I could attach another one down here, and then I could uh, attach it to all these things. So now these two are running in parallel, okay? So what we can do then is we can attach something that connects both, both of them together and it should spin with more force. Oh my God, I actually managed to get it there. Do it again, I wanna see it again. So throw, oh, beautiful. Now if we actually tilted this slightly and did it again, it's even more accurate. Look at that guys, I made myself a catapult. Good, all right, what do we got here? So we have this thing and we have that thing. We could make the same creation we just did now, is my creation gone forever? That is the question. If I take this helmet and put it on, can I go back a level? Is there a thing? Online contraptions. Look at all the shit that people are building for this. What even is that? Okay, go back. Can I go back to mm, this one over here? All right, now I can take this contraption, guys, and I can lay it in here. So somehow, guys, I have broken the game. I can't currently um, get to the level that I need to do. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I need to do right here. Okay, but when I lay it here, it just goes back to this level again. Huh, that's weird. But the good thing, guys, is that if you reach down here, I believe this is an exit burrito. So if I eat this burrito, okay, did it. Can I now exit the game? This has got vegetables in it. What the hell are you doing? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let me finish the burrito. There, I got it. Okay, so we leave the game. All right, I've made it back into the game, guys. I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay. Let's play it one more time. Throw our thingy over there, and the dog is gonna come up right here. We're gonna hit the dog, okay? And now, we cannot move on to a new one. Great, this is, this is fantastic. Inconvenience Island is right, because holy shit, this is not good. Okay, well it seems for some reason, guys, that I cannot play number five. I screwed it up somehow. All right, no big deal. We'll just move on to uh, level six. Level six, you got these things up here. They fall down and then you need to move them. That should not be that hard. If we just build a little slope, we should be fine. All right, well, if we do this, guys, this is what happens. Press play. This one actually rolls down and makes it, but the other one doesn't. So if I secure this here, it should have no problem just rolling it right to the goal. So I just got to put some more of these sticks on the ground so it doesn't fall down. 
So I'm gonna take these, okay, these are the water ones. I need to connect them diagonally so that there's not a whole lot of movement going on. I could connect all the ones in the middle, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. I could connect these ones down here, but I'm, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and not have to do that. So basically this'll allow a slope that allows it to roll. I mean, that worked pretty well. The other one didn't make it because it fell and bounced in a weird way. And if we just move that back a little bit, it might help. I don't know, try not to screw it up too much. That one rolls and the other one rolls as well. And really, come on, come on, come on. Move over there a little bit, there. Will that work? Roll and roll, okay. No need to get too crazy with this, guys. If it works, just do it. Okay, now we're on Mind the Gap, guys. This will be the last one that I do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and load my old creation, okay? There's a big gap. It needs to get all the way over there. How are we gonna do that? Well, I mean, I made a freaking catapult earlier, so why not freaking use it? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, all I gotta do is grab that helmet, put it on, then I take this, okay? I lay it here and it goes back there. Okay, it seems that the contraptions are tied to the level, guys, so I won't be able to do that. That's fine, we'll make something else, okay? We got a gap, I think we should probably throw it again. So let me make another catapult. As you can see, this is a base, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect everything together to make it extra strong, and then I'm gonna make a nice hard throw that way. Okay, here's the thing that's gonna throw it. It's cool because it actually stops after it gets so far, it might make it a little bit better at throwing. And our ball is right here, so if you try it now, it works. Okay, I didn't even get a chance to connect them together. No, we're not moving on. Get the hell out of here, I wanna do this again. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these ones to make it a bit stronger. I didn't realize it was gonna be pretty strong already. Uh, connect it to here. It gives it a bit more power, but it seems to go more in the air, so I'm move it that way. There we go, okay. And I'll just connect the rest as well. So, after connecting these, it is now less effective at getting the ball where it needs to go. Of course it is. Can I turn that a little bit? Maybe give it a bit more of a, an angle? No? Come on, man. Just fire it. Yeah, whoop. Well, hang on. There. Go. Okay. Yeah. Either way, guys, it does not matter. That machine is going crazy. You can go crazy if you want. Let's just move on. Okay. So now we're at a point where, um, hmm, we need to get that ball down there. So you just need to build a machine that does like a spin. Ah, I wanted to stop playing, guys, but this is super fun. I love it. So let me build one more machine. This is going to be a quick one, and then we'll stop. Okay, so as you guys can see, now this thing spins around like that. All we have to do now is we just have to take one of these, okay? We're gonna extend it out this way, then we're gonna take another one and attach it there like that, and then when we spin it, it'll hit. Now, it's gonna need to also be attached up top. I'll use water just because. Attach it there like that, spin it, and the ball rolls, and we win. Okay, I just wanted to do that. Now we can stop. Okay, so that is fantastic contraption, guys. Super awesome. Lots of fun, and I have the uh, the alternate camera angle up here. Now the way it works is WASD allows you to do this, and the, oh shit, I'm sorry, camera, and then uh, and then arrow keys allow you to move it around as well, so you can uh, you can get someone else to play the game with you. They can take a look at that while you're actually trying to build things, and uh, you know you can use it to your advantage, so you get multiple camera angles and things like that. Overall, super awesome game. If you have a vibe, you have this game, you should play it. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video here, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.